you know, yeah. it's kind of funny. The reason why Ryan got hired with us actually had to do with a video that he made. So he went up north with his dad or whatever. Talk yeah, to the I story. Mean, so uh, as you know, upland bird hunting is like that's my background. That's where I came from for the most part. I'd done a little bit of deer hunting, a little bit of turkey hunting, but was never really successful until I came to Greenway and uh, was really able to dedicate a lot of time to it. Anyhow, um, so friends of ours, as well as our family, would go up north, upland bird hunting, woodcock and grouse. And uh, once I started getting into video, I decided that I would make a short little kind of documentary about woodcock and grouse hunting. Yeah, yeah. And I posted it to How YouTube. How old were you at this time? Oh, like 12? I was I pretty, I, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't remember. I was pretty young, though. It was It was a long time ago um cuz i mean it was towards the beginning of greenway yeah so it w it was a while ago but um i was able to get some really good footage of woodcock on the ground and i think that's what impressed the team here that well i was like i i looked at this video there was a guy that was actually leaving greenway uh and moving so we needed to replace him and he's like well there's this kid and whatever and to be honest with you the reference coming from this person didn't do a lot of help for him like, to be completely honest, like, that's the best way of putting it. So he, like, tells me, I was like, okay. He's like, well, here's a video he made. So I'm like, oh, geez. And, I, like, you know, it's, like, one of those things, too, for us. Like, every event we go to, everywhere we go, everyone wants to show us their trail cam photos or show us yeah. their, like, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, I mean, it's all good, you know. But um, they show me this video, and I'm, like, passively watching it. And then all of a sudden I, like, see a timber doodle walking, and I see, like, one flush perfectly, the camera's perfectly angled, and still I'm like, yeah, bring him in here. I'll talk to him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. it's an art. It's an art. And Definitely. It's... And I, I mean, I was super fortunate that I was put in a position where I was able to get those shots, and then Kyle was able to see it, and I happened to know the person that showed Kyle the video, so it all worked out great, and I'm happy to be here and all that. Anyways, now, now you're a part owner yeah, and all that. So. Yeah, so it, 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 that one video brought me to a lot of good places. So all the kids out there listening – just do it just do it i just, agree completely. just do it yeah i dabble in photography as much as i can i love to do it too and uh it's that creative side being a graphic designer and that and I love, yeah i love photography and it's yeah just get out and do it just yeah get out from like an inspirational side too though looking at it you know you were going to school at the time mm -hmm. and thinking about what you wanted to do with life you know there comes a time and this is going to get a little philosophical but like because you went out there with your dad you did something because yep. you went hunting. You did something because you made a video. You did something now making that video. You didn't have a goal with it. Nope. You didn't have an intention on where it was going to be going. You didn't have an intention on wh what you're going to be doing with it, but you worked really hard to make it great. And a lot of times we make stuff in life and we have no idea if anybody will ever see it, if they will or won't. And a lot of times people will be like, this doesn't matter. You know, and I was listening to a speech on the way here of, uh, from Jordan Peterson, who was talking about, you have a choice in life where like this one assignment or this one thing I'm working on, it doesn't really matter in the scope of things. Yeah. Or you can have the, you know, the philosophical idea that every single thing you do matters. And the difference and how that stacks up builds up over time. So you looked at that video like I'm going to make this the best video I can. No intention of why. And like anytime you're doing something, if you only get 24 hours in a day, you sleep six, and then you have 18 left. Yeah. And what you do at that time and what you put into it from working hard to making it perfect, it matters. Uh, every assignment matters. Every conversation you have with someone matters. Every interaction matters. The way you treat people matters. Everything matters because look at your entire career. The reason why you're sitting in this room right now is for no other reason than you did one thing that you didn't think mattered but did it well and treated it like it did matter. Yeah. And I, I tell people that all the time. It's like – Every single thing you do matters. And yep. when you're working on anything, whether it's fixing a car or building something or taking a, a, a picture, and this training is the dogs, right? Training dogs. You know, oh, it doesn't matter if I let the dog off on this one thing. It doesn't matter if I, um, I'm i teaching my uh, daughter to read or yep. whatever it might be. I, uh, let this slack off. No, every single thing you do matter. And because of that now, you have a job, you're sitting in this room, you're part owner of the company. And you're building something that you, now you've taken possession of because you've acted that way since you've walked through the door, too. And that's what attracted us to Kellen in the first place to bring him on the team as well is Kellen went above and beyond for us, like building our media kit and PR stuff to to come on board and be part of the team as well. But it just it, it inspires me. But I was looking at that video 
and I noticed you that video was posted what three four years five years ago something like that yeah a while ago and uh, there was some comments on there that I was reading yeah. and one of them had crow as the last name yeah I think it was Sean crow right I think Sean crow yeah Sean crow do, do you it, recognize that at all is that uh, a relation or no 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 relation no no direct relation that I'm aware of it might be a friend that I'm a friend of but I don't know why did you this, okay so you she, seemed help this is the fact this, that it was Ryan. I, I thought this was a family member oh yeah no 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 definitely it, not this was um, he's like yeah that, that guy, I know that, of that he's I like that of. guy owes me money so if you find <laughs> <laughs> yeah right was it S H Sean or S E A S H yeah I know Sean I know he's from Kentucky. I know yeah. him really well. Yeah. Okay. So, so you know yeah. him, but you're not related. Correct. We well, we've we, it's funny. We've tried to trace back to see like we've been texting back and forth and saying like, here's Uncle uh, Louis. Is that somebody that you know? And he's like, no, nah, I don't know him. So, yeah. And we've gone back and forth, but definitely. Does he have yeah. red hair? Uh, no, I only got the red beard. I got gray hair, but the okay. Red beard, but <laughs> what what color was your hair when you were young? Kind of like yours, darker. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Okay. So, anyways, just some backstory for people listening. I had posted this video, and within months of me posting it, uh, Grouse and Woodcock season had come around like the next year after I had recorded it, and um, Sean Crow had commented on it. And years and years later, I'm working for Greenway. We meet you. Your last name's Crow, and I just happened like, to go hey, look at uh, the video. Not for nothing, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I read the comments years and years later. I'm like Crow. Then I went to Facebook and I looked, and he's one of your mutual friends. Yes, yeah. yeah. And like we had interacted, me and Sean had interacted years and years ago. <laughs> and like I'm not friends with him by any means. It was just this like strange coincidence. Yeah. And you happened to know him. It, I thought you were relatives. Yeah. No, we're not relatives. We've gone back and forth trying to figure out if like back, back, back we are. But we haven't made the connection yet.